mantras of the Krishna Yajurveda Samhita as we glorify Bhagwan Shankar or Mahadev. Maha means great and Deva means God. So we all know that God is great and we all know in Hinduism or in Sanatan Dharma we respect all forms of that divine being all forms of God we respect all manifestations because we rise beyond the name and we rise beyond the form because in our culture and in our Dharma we have the Saguna Brahman and the Nirguna Brahman. Boys, Saguna Brahman means God with, you know, and Nirguna Brahman means God with, fill in the blank. <laughs> God with form and God without form. So in other words, as we climb the ladder of spiritual evolution, we, my friends, must be able to worship God with form and we must be also be able to worship God without form because it's a spiritual process. It's a spiritual evolution. So there are times when you can just sit down in front of your baby and there are no murtis on the baby, but you're doing puja. You're worshiping the formless Brahman. Formless form of God. But we have a small baby and we want to put 15 murti on top day and put about 15 flags. Jai Bhagwan. My friends, if your baby is small and you put one murti to represent all the devis and devtas, that's perfectly fine. God is one without a second. And Bhagwan Krishna gives a what you call a classic breakdown in the, in the 11th chapter of Bhagavad Gita where he tells in the 10th and 11th chapter in the 10th chapter the Vibhuti Yoga and the, the, the 11th chapter the Vishwarup Darshan where he tells hey you know what Arjuna I am everything and everything is in me so my point is the Nirguna form the Nirguna is formless and the Saguna is God with form so my dear brothers and sisters on the spiritual ladder of evolution or the ladder of spiritual evolution, we must be able to, at the level of the mind, rise to that state of where there is just being. And in being, there is nothingness. In being, there is no form. But before we get there, we need that Shiva Lingam. Before we get there, we need Ma Lakshmi. Before we get there, we need Bhagwan Shiva. Before we get there, you need Pavan Putra Hanuman. But we have not reached that level where even if I praise Bhagwan Shiva through the Shiva Manas Puja, I am worshipping my Hanuman. Even true, if I chant Om Namah Shivai, I am worshipping my God in all different forms. If I chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai, I am worshipping my Lord in all different forms. Male and female, saguna and nirguna. But we have to rise to that mental state. And friends, to rise to that mental state, it just does not happen overnight. It's a process and it takes time. You know, when you tell the child in kindergarten about standard one and standard two work and standard five work and form one work, they will look at you if straight in your eyes and straight into your eyes and they will just run off and play. Because the standard five work means nothing to the child in kindergarten. And the child in, kindergarten, the child in standard five, when you tell them about kindergarten work, they will look at you and say, but I passed that so long. Why, mom? Why are... Why are we going back to that? I passed that class so long. So I don't need to go back there. I have already created the foundation academically to reach the standard five. Now I have to prepare to reach this form five and then keep and then university. Friends, 
where are we on the spiritual ladder of our evolution? Where have we reached on this spiritual ladder? Are we still in the kindergarten stage, criticizing, condemning, finding all couture and all false, and we remain at the kindergarten stage looking for who better than who, and who not better than who, and we stop there, and only finding reason because we know where we are, so we feel nobody can rise higher than that. So we must now put our opinion, and we must, what we call, submit and feel as though there is nothing more than what we think and what we believe. Friends, there is so much more than what we believe out there. There is so much more than what we know out there. There is so much more than what you and I can perceive out there in the universe. But because the mind is stuck where it is, you and I, whether it's on the Saguna or the Nirguna, God with form or even God without form, how we are rising is very important. So tonight, we will look at Lord Shiva with form. We shall try to reach Lord Shiva without form. As the Shiv Puran and our scriptures tells us that that supreme being with form is called as Shiva. That God without form is called Brahman. God with form is called Shiva. God without form is called Brahman. He is called as Ishwara. Ishwara meaning the Lord of the Supreme World, the Lord of the Three Worlds, Ishwara. And when we chant the name, we think of the form, but we hope to reach the formless. To him this night, our salutations again and again at his lotus-like feet. And friends, as we all chant, let us all chant together his beautiful name. So, the Lord with form, he, my friends, manifest through these various forms. As we all know, it is said that Lord Shiva is Bhagwan Shiva. In the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagwan Krishna says, Rudranam Shankaras Chasmi. Rudranam Shankaras Chasmi. Lord Krishna is saying, among all the Rudras, I am Shankar. So in Krishna, there is Shiva. And in Shiva, there is Bhagwan Krishna. Then we also hear that the 11th avatar of Bhagwan Shiva is Pavan Putra Hanuman. Shankar Suvana Kesari Nandana Teja Pratapama Jagavandana Jai Siyaram Jai Jai Siyaram Shankar Suvana So Hanumanji Suvana means son So Shankar Suvana He is the son of Shankar is Hanuman. So Shankar Suvana Kesari Nandan. And he is also the son of Kesari. There's two fathers right there. Kesari and Shankar. And then also it is said that he is not also the son of Shiva. But he is the 11th manifestation of Bhagwan Shankar. So Lord Shiva himself came as Pavan Putra Hanumanji. Again from the unmanifest to the manifest. The forms required different lila. The form, what you call, the forms requires different manifestations. So the Lord comes in all different forms. Electricity in the form of power lights the bulb and gives light. Electricity in the form of power goes through the television and gives a movie. Electricity in the form of the refrigerator gives power and gives coolness. Electricity in the form of power goes through the sound system and gives sound. Electricity is the same. Consciousness is the same. 
Nirguna Brahman is the same. From that on manifest, all the various manifestation comes. Boys, electricity in the light, in the bulb gives. Electricity in the fan gives. Electricity in the television gives. Electricity in the microwave gives. Huh? Radiation. Electricity in the radio gives. Sound. Electricity is the common factor. Electricity is the common factor under all the appliances. So electricity does not light when the bulb is lighting. Electricity does not get cold when the fridge is cooling. Electricity does not dance when the music is playing. What kind of music? <laughs> Jai Bhagwan, go in the wedding and here. And go on the street for carnival and here. <clears throat> you think electricity is dancing? When it is said, my friends, Bhagwan Shiva. Nataraja, Nataraja. Bhagwan Shiva is Nataraja. He is the great dancer. He is dancing. Do you think, my friends, Bhagwan Shiva in the unmanifest state is dancing? Electricity don't dance when the music is playing. So in the unmanifest state, he is without any attributes and he, my friends, is called Nirguna without any form. And he, my friends, is not affected by the forms. He is not affected by the created world. He is not affected by the objective world. He is not even part of the objective world. Nay, he is everything in this world. Bhagwan Krishna says that I am everything. But the ordinary mind cannot perceive and comprehend this. We distinguish and we, my friends, discriminate. And therefore, as a result of that, our own mind that is influenced by maya, we think, we think that we are what you call differentiating. And we think that we are categorizing. But the reality is we are destroying our own mental, uh, what you call, awakening. And so it is said here, Bhagwan Shiva, in the on, uh, what you call, in the form, of what you call Nataraj, he dances in the form of Shankar. When the churning of the ocean was going on, he came and he consumed the poison. Bhagwan Shiva consumed the poison. Friends, he kept it on his throat. He became Nilakanta. Mahadeva Tune, he to Sabadevo Kasan Tapahara, Sagara Mantaname Nishalavish, Tune Apane Kantadhara. He kept it on his throat. He kept the poison on his throat and did not allow it to go down. He came when the Lord requires to manifest. He will take a form at any point in time, wherever you are. And once you call on him, he will come. You know, there are saying, they say when, you know, there is a saying, do you all believe this? When God can't come, he'll send somebody. You all believe that? Why? Huh? Yes, you get a total problem. I could as well see, care problem, boy. <laughs> he says, you know, when, when, well, I want to tell you something. I want to change that. Change that attitude. God will send nobody. Bhagwan has come himself. How many of you are mothers here? We have mama sitting here. We have mother here. Right, Mama? Let me ask you one question, right? Your son goes to Rio Claro. And he calls and he says, Ma, I need help. Who is that? Hmm? Your son or your daughter, that poor child, Andrea Bharat, you know how many times she probably called her father in her mind? Dad, help. God bless her soul tonight. May Bhagwan Shiva bless her and give strength to the beloved father and to all the girls who were disrespected and hurt and, and their lives, lost their lives. May Bhagwan give them the strength. But I want to tell you something, friends. We believe in our dharma that 
when we call on God, he don't send nobody. He just come himself. Chapter 9 of the Gita, he declares this. Ananyas chintayantumam yejana paryupasate tesham nitya abhiyuktanam yoga kshemam vahamyam. Those who think of me, Arjuna, I go personally and look after them. But this is where we go wrong now, Baba. We go wrong thinking that the person who help us is a person. And between that person and our thoughts, that's Maya. This is something very subtle, my friends. It's very, very subtle. You have to think about this. Between the person who is helping us. So you are seeing a friend, you know, of somebody you know. And you are seeing somebody you are acquainted with. But in that person at that moment, Bhagwan is acting. Because you wouldn't want to see him come with the Shankan Chakra Gada Padma and stand up there, you know. When he comes there in that form, he means business of a different kind. You see Bhagwan Shiva come and stand up there with Trishul. He ready to rock the world, you know. You see Bhagwan Sri Ram come and stand up there with Bhagwan Aro. He ready to lift up this earth from the root, you know. My point is, Bhagwan comes in a very simple, minute form, true, somebody that you are acquainted with, and he helps. So that is how the Lord takes form in Kalyug. But we then say, oh, thank God. Lord, thank God this person was there on time. And we forget for that twinkle of a second that, Lord, it was you in that form. In that moment, there is Maya. In that moment, the, the delusion and illusion at that very moment conquers us. It what you call blinds us. At that very moment, the Maya blinds us. This is why it is said in this beautiful verse from the Shiva Chalisa, it says, Jai Giri Japati Dina Dayala Sadakarat Santana Pratipala Jai Giri Japati Dina Dayala Sadakarat Santana Pratipala Bal Chandrama Sohatani Ke Bal Chandrama Sohatani Ke Kamana Kundala Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya, everyone. Om Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya. Anga Gaur Sir Ganga Mahaye, Anga Gaur Sir Ganga Mahaye, Munda Malatan Chara. my friends when the maya comes in we don't see the lord we don't experience the lord but we know we got help so there is a fine a very fine thin line 
and the maya there or illusion blinds us have you ever heard you would have heard that probably in every satsang you go about this maya this delusional power of the lord friends arjuna was on the battlefield krishna was in front of him and arjuna could not recognize him you think when he comes in front of us you think we will recognize him mr krish you think when bhagwan comes and he actually helps us we feel as though and you see that maya it influences the mind so it blinds the eyes from seeing it blinds the mind from feeling and experiencing and in that moment we lose connection so maya is the delusion maya my friends from a spiritual point of view prevents us from seeing god in the form even though he is everywhere maya is like a mask but this mask is not covering the nose and the mouth this mask maya is covering the eyes not like superman one or wonder woman or not like spider man mask just covering the above the eyes but the eyes still seeing this maya covers the whole eyes so you're seeing but all you're seeing is what maya wants you to see just right here narrow vision that's why my friends our scriptures go back into everyday life it's an everyday life that's why this is sanatan dharma is not a religion it's a way of life and that's why it tells you you know it you go back looking at your children looking at the children as god and goddess little daughter is devi that's why you do kanyakumari puja when you wish when you have a daughter you worship her when you have a daughter you honor her you pray not only for her and with her but you pray to her that's why in the navratri period and the ashtami tithi when you do the kanyakumari puja and you wash the feet of the nine little girls you think you washing the feet of the nine little girls and every one of them ma comes and sits down but you don't see her all you seeing is a little girl in front of you kumari devi is there chandika devi is there kalika devi is there and all prathamam shaila putri cha dvitiyam brahmacharini तृतीयम चंद्रगंतेति कूष्मां देति चतुर्थकम पंचमम स्कंदमातेति षष्टम कात्यायनि तिच सप्तमम कालरात्रि च महागौरीति चाष्टकम नवमम सिद्धिदात्रि च नाइन देवीज आर सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू बट ऑल यू सीइंग इज अ स्मॉल लिटिल गर्ल्स देयर व्हाई बिकॉज़ द माया हैव ब्लाइंडेड अस एंड देन द बाबा कम्स ऑन द सिंहासन एंड द बाबा डूइंग द पूजा एंड ट्राइंग टू पाउंड इट इनटू योर माइंड हे वर्शिप द देवी सी हर इन द चिल्ड्रन सो वी हियर इट but it goes away that is the form that is the form we are talking about the saguna brahman the saguna form of the god or the goddess is everywhere around us but the maya is illusional and delusional and making us feel as though hey this is an ordinary child sitting in front of me this is somebody daughter down the road isn't it So when you worship the Kanya Kumari and you worship the little devis, it is Devi Ma that comes and sits down there, my friends. But in Maya, and you see this Maya, this Maya is detrimental to our spiritual progress and our spiritual growth because now it comes like God forbid, God forbid, God forbid, a person is visually challenged. That person can't get too far, too quick. They take the time and they will walk with their stick and stuff. and they will go along and if anyone would have eye problems we pray god bless you and heal your eyes so my friends if a person is visually impaired that person will take their stick and they will be walking and you know swinging the stick on both sides and they walking but they can't walk fast maya is like that it prevents us from progressing quickly spiritually then maya is there and we are searching for the truth the truth of in the outer world the truth in the inner world when maya is there friends we become confused illusion when maya is there it makes us become the victim of anger maya 
makes us become the victim of anger. Yet we say, you know, I am not angry, but this I am inside, my friends. The Maya is burning us. The Maya is burning us with anger inside. Anger. You know when you get angry? Let me ask Pandit Ramesh. Baba, when you get angry? <laughs> hmm? When do you get angry? You know when we get angry? Did somebody do you something? <laughs> Mama said, somebody do you something. And somebody do you something, don't get angry. There's only one time in our lives we get angry. I'm sorry, one thing in our lives that causes anger. You know what that is? You see when you want something and you don't get it? Jai Bhagwan. And you see, when you want something and you don't get it, anger comes in. Kama Esha, Krodha Esha, Rajaguna Samudbhavaha. Again, Bhagwan says, Kama Esha, desire alone, that prompts you to want something and when you don't get it, anger comes. And friends, when anger comes, it breaks up people. It breaks you first. It breaks your heart. You become burnt by the fire of anger. You become burnt. And as the fire starts spreading, the, the, the what you call family members get caught in the heat. When family members get caught in the heat, fire don't stop on you. Fire does spread. Isn't it? You ever, you ever light a fire and just stop? Unless it's on a dia or some kind of pot or some kind of lamp or something. You light it, you light it in the bush now. And see what happens? It will spread. And fire, once it gets fuel, it will run. Brothers and sisters, Rajaguna Samud Bhavaha, when fire is influenced by, when the fire of anger is influenced by Rajaguna, it starts spreading. That's why when the husband gets angry, the wife gets angry. Spread it. And then somebody go and try to part that fight. See what happens. Them also get. And then the children get caught up in it. And then the neighbors say, well, come and see what's going on here. And like that, fire starts spreading. And then the whole family is burnt. It starts small, you know. Maya blocks your spiritual vision from seeing God in front of you. Panditji, Pandit Himraji and myself, we did a wedding on Sunday. And we all know in the Hindu wedding, the husband is worshipped as Lord Vishnu. And you all know that? How many years are you married now, Bhaiya? 39? 39? You don't have a long time, boy. <laughs> 39 years. And you know, on the day when you get married, the husband is worshipped Lord Vishnu. Why? You think Hinduism is, um, they have nothing else to do. So they tell you, the Baba come and say, hey, worship your, your son-in-law on the day of the wedding, like Lord Vishnu. You put chandan and tilak and you put flowers on his head and you wash his feet and thing. And then you do arti for him. That is Lord Vishnu come to my home. Hindus really don't have nothing to do, you know. Isn't it? But that's where, that's where, my friends, the life of our daughter begins. The second phase of her life begins there. That's why the mother and father goes and they worship this guy, telling him, hey, you are Lord Vishnu. May you always have good qualities, Lord Vishnu-like qualities towards our daughter. So he, the parents now, seeing him as God, and they pray that he manifest godly qualities towards their beloved daughter. Yeah, right. That is the day for the wedding. We pray for it to happen afterwards also. So all those who are married, do you see yourself as Lord Vishnu on the day when you get married and every day after that? Saguna Brahman, God with form, Right in your own home, the Dullahin becomes, when the Dullahin comes out of the, 
the um, what you call the change room and she go, comes in the red outfit or the wedding outfit and she sits down there the mother worships her wash her feet the mother and father for the first time as if inverted commas and they put the chandan on her forehead and worship her and they tell her babe you are Lakshmi Devi today you have always been Lakshmi Devi in our home and you are Lakshmi Devi today we give you in Kanyadan we give you in marriage and they give the, the Lakshmi friends you think this is just a ritual the maya is preventing us from seeing her as lakshmi all our lives pratamam shaila putri chadvitiyam brahmacharini tritiyam and all the life she was there with us and we supposed to have seen all the devis in her then the lakshmi comes in the home as the wife that is the wife the home of the husband now so this saguna brahman this form gone off with form is in our hearts in our homes in our lives but we take it for granted not for granted we are blinded by this maya you all realize the world falling apart you all realize that right now right not only Trinidad and Tobago you know the world Trinidad and Tobago is going down also in terms of morals, in terms of values, spiritual values. Nobody have respect for the temple anymore. Nobody have respect for the church anymore. Nobody have respect for the mosque anymore. Forget church, mosque and temple. Nobody have respect for themselves anymore. All the young people who are here tonight, you see all the old school thoughts and all the old school values that our parents and grandparents give to us, we thought that that didn't make sense and we thought that when our old people talk to us and they gives us you know based on the old-fashioned way of living and life we say then people are real old and stupid eh? let me do the modern thing and you see the modern thing that is what is going to destroy us because we become modern and my friends the maya now that is that is causing the delusion you can't see the husband as Vishnu anymore. The fellow not living like Bhagwan Vishnu. How are you going to see it? The Dulahin not living like Lakshmi anymore. How you will see her? The children not living like the little Devis and Devtas anymore. How you will see it? Friends, I urge you tonight we urge you tonight i speak on all behalf of all the pandits here pandit himraj and pandit ramesh and myself and mama and papa and everybody i speak on behalf of our parents and all we need to really buck up and pull out our mirror and reflect upon the way our life is going because today we have what we have and tomorrow we can lose everything we have and it comes from my friends, losing ourselves. And when we lose ourselves, we break ourselves spiritually. And when we destroy ourselves spiritually, it's all because we are blinded. And when you are blind, you can't see. And when you can't see, somebody telling you, you become angry. And when we become angry, we lose our right way of rationalizing and right way of thinking. And as a result of that, friends, we lose it all. So, Girija, Jai Girija Pati Dina Dayala. This law that we are talking about, he takes a form. Why? To demonstrate his, what you call Dina Dayala, his compassion and his, you know, he, he takes a form to really depict his compassionate side. Because nobody here will really pay attention to the electricity. All they're paying attention, way by the bulb, real bright and nice. It's looking like an LED, boy. Isn't it? You talk about the LED, you know. You talk about it white, it bright, it nice, everything. But you never utter one word about the electricity that makes that light. So we talk about the world that is so nice and beautiful and so much fun we have in this world. But we never forget about 
We never talk about what is supporting the beauty of this world. See my hand lifting right now? I think I'm lifting it? Somebody lifting it. My mind should have gone on that person that is pulling the lever to lift this hand. My mind should have gone on the person who is inside this head talking. My mind should have gone inside this heart to find the person who is causing the heart to operate. You think the machine is operated by itself? Which car you see driving by itself? As a matter of fact, anytime you see a car driving by itself, run, you know. <laughs> run for your life. Anytime you see a car driving for itself, unless it's remote control. So my friends, the point that we are making, everything operates by someone. So the heart is beating, but how come we don't pay attention to the person who is making the heart beat and the person who is beyond? So the maya is very, very important for us to understand and allow to move, to remove from our lives. That maya destroys so even though the Saguna Brahman is everywhere, even though the Saguna Brahman is everywhere, yet we do not experience it because we are what you call blinded by this maya and this delusion. And so Bhagwan Shiva is again reminding us as this, I, I dedicate this bhajan to all the older ones here tonight. Guru Charanan Sirnari Ke Binwat Dao Kar Shiva Shankar Ke Charaname लागी रहे मन मो कैलाश पति कैलाश पति महाराज आज शंकर शिव बम बम शंकर शिव बम बम
कितना के दुख आप हरे हो आपने सुर संसार भरे हो कितना के दुख आप हरे हो आपने सुर संसार भरे हो पुजारी आप हरे हो ये पूजा By the grace of Bhagwan Shiva, my friends, like Kailash Pati Maharaj, the Lord of Kailash. But you see, he is sitting there on Kailash Parvat. He is sitting there, my friends. And in meditation, now, very important point. Please be attentive. Lord Shiva is always on Kailash. Lord Shiva is always in our lives. We don't see him, we don't experience him at times because we are influenced by Maya. Full stop. So if we don't see God, Maya is the cause. Illusion. It doesn't mean to say because I don't see him, he's not there. That's why everybody have different experiences, you know. You know why people change their religion? You know why people change their religion? Because some people, some people will say Lord Shiva is the greatest God. Some people say he is no God at all. Let's have a next God call. Allah, Buddha, Jesus, Sai, all them things. So the point I'm making is everybody, you think everybody could like this frame? You think this glasses will work for everybody? It can't. My prescription is unique. Isn't it, Didi? If I borrow your glasses, I used to see my mother borrowing my father's glasses. I don't know how that's to work, but. <laughs> hmm? You can't. Because the prescription is different. So my point is, everybody will have different experiences. Everybody would not like the same frame. Everybody would have different prescriptions. Everybody will be required to do different things. Everybody just cannot be the same. And we have to understand that, but there is one common factor. Where you want to reach spiritually, and where I want to reach spiritually, and where every one of us wants to reach spiritually is the same place. And there is one Maya. Your Maya, and my Maya, and everybody Maya is the same Maya. Same delusion preventing us. That's why the world is so unhappy today. That's why people live in bigger houses and they have smaller families. That's why people make more money, they spend more, but have less. That's why people have bigger beds, but less sleep, no time to sleep. Isn't it? Long time you spread a pal on the ground. You, boys, you all know his pal? Oh, no, Papa? Are you from a long time? <laughs> long time you spread a pal on the ground. And when you hit that ground there, man, it, is it, you know? You remember the pal? Not the pal, is how come go to school and think about it, you know? <laughs> that was a pal too. They were a real pal, man. That talking about the pal on the ground. And the pal... It was the same thing they used to use and make hammock. Hmm? Yes, mama? Lipe plays on the ground, isn't it? Yeah? Mama said long time only lipe. And long time people who lipe and walk on that lipe ground never suffer from arthritis. 
is after when they cast the ground and they put concrete and they say, you know what? I am making money now. <laughs> and I have lots of it. <laughs> I can buy tiles and put on the ground. No problem. Buy the tiles, put it on the ground. But prepare to get arthritis. I was talking to someone recently, and a person is um, a wealthy person. He, he has a good business going on. Everything is good. I tell my Baba, he say, right now, you know what I feel to do? I feel I have a piece of land. I feel to go and build a carrot shed, make a nice kitchen, make a nice hammock, leap in the ground, and go there and live. <laughs> and he have everything, you know. You all living in the country here, and you might say, boy, I really feel to go in the city and live, you know. I wish I could be living down Palmis or Gulf View or Lunch Park and things like that. Stay right up here, boy. The best place to live. My friends, Maya is very deadly. And even though Ishwara, Bhagwan Shiva in the manifest form is all around us, yet we are prevented. And this is why it is said here in this particular um, text and this particular verse here, Dina Dayala, he is one who is very compassionate. Sada Karata Santana, who is he compassionate towards? Santana. Santana means his children, his devotees, his bhaktas. Santana Pratipala. Bala Chandrama Sohatanike. Kanana Kundala Naga Fanike. Very compassionate towards you and I. Most loving towards us. But even though it is so, Maya is in front of us. Friends, always take out your mirror. I want to tell you tonight, take out your mirror every day and look at you. <clears throat> look at you. Don't look at you in a physical way. Go beyond you see, you see the little mark that come out under the eye? Go beyond that mark. You see, when you see a little white hair on your head, go beyond that white hair. Oh God, by the hair showing, I have to get some color. <laughs> Understood? Or go beyond the physical you and go into the mental you. Go into yourself, dive deep into who you are. Because every time you see Lord Shiva in meditation, that is where he is. He is looking at himself on the inside. Because he rose from the saguna to the nirguna. From the outer to the inner. Saguna does not only mean God with form, but saguna also means the outer. Nirguna doesn't only mean God without form, it also means the inner. And when you go into yourself, see what is happening within, friends. They have many names for it. Reflection, introspection, meditation, yoga, dhyana yoga. All those are nice names for just taking out your mirror and looking at yourself inside. Look at you. Look at how you behave. Look at how you react. Look at the reality. Look at what is happening in your life. Are you denying the truth? Are you falsifying the truth? Are you pretending to be who you are not? Look at you. And then blame everybody else and say he is this and she is that and he is the cause and she is the cause. And Hey, the truth does not change. Electricity, the bulb will change. Do you ever change electricity? You ever change electricity? You change the clothes? You change the bulb? You change the color of the house? It change the car. It change your friends. Sometimes. You ever change electricity? No. You see, everything outside could change. You change your clothes. You could change the color of your skin. You could bleach your skin. They have things to do that now, I think. And them nice spa them. <laughs> they bleach your skin and change your color. You could change yourself from a boy to a girl. 
I'm a girl to a boy. All your outer things could change. You could change where you're living. You could change the color of your clothes. But you can't change you on the inside. You can't change you on the inside. My friends, that you on the inside is the real you. And once you look at yourself, from the inside out, Maya cannot destroy you. Because you will then be beyond this Maya. What is happening inside of you, you cannot deny. What is happening on the outside of you, you can deny. What is happening inside of you, you cannot change. What is happening outside of you, you can change. You can change everything around you. You can change the people in your life. But you can't change, my friends, your, who you are on the inside. And this is why Saguna Brahman is the real you. I'm sorry, Nirguna Brahman is the real you. Saguna Brahman is the outer you. God always changes forms. That's why in Hinduism we have the most forms. He always changes in form. And nothing is wrong with that. He could change anytime he wants. Isn't it? And you could change your color house anytime. And you could change your clothes all the time. And you could change your personality, the way you act, the way you react, the way you think, all those things. You could change all the time. God could do whatever he wants. If you could do it, he could do it. But the real you, the saguna, the nirguna, never changes. And so, my friends, Bhagwan Shiva, when he came in the column of the fire, was that Nirguna. Nobody knew who he was. Even Brahmaji and Lord Vishnu never knew. But when he came as Sadashiva, everyone realized that he is the ultimate. My friends, tonight I want to leave you thinking and leave you looking inside you. Identify with the real you. Reflect on the inside introspect meditate listen to silence and remember God don't send anybody he comes himself so everybody in your life is some form of that supreme being doing some purpose they are there for a reason Every situation is trying to teach us a lesson. Pay attention to this. Every situation is trying to teach us a lesson. It is not going to take anything from us. Nobody is going to take anything from us. Everybody in every situation is going to teach us something. Friends, try to learn the lesson. Try to learn the lesson. Prem Saboliye Kailas Pati Shankar Bhagwan Eki with this tonight, I conclude, and I would like to ask Pandit Himraj here this time, Baba, it's always a pleasure to be in your company, and it's always nice to have you, and of course, the wonderful Dulahin, dressed all yellow up this evening, <laughs> um, to join with us, and of course, Mama and Papa also with here. So we ask Pandit Ji to give his blessings to us all. I also have one of my former teacher, uh, Sri Lane Ji, and his wonderful Dharma Patni, special welcome to you all. And I think, oh, the two beautiful children are here also. So it's special, special welcome to each one of you. Bolo Sri Har Har Mahadev Ki Jai Jai Shri.